Learning Kyokushin Karate and any other martial art is a lot of hard work if you want to get good at it. This applies especially if you are a complete beginner and are just starting your journey of becoming a martial artist. In this video, we will go over the importance and role of a repetition of techniques in karate during your daily training. We will talk a little bit about good repetition and bad repetition of techniques and we will also get into some benefits of repetitive training in karate. One of the primary methods for learning any martial art is repetition and as Sosai Masayama said, one becomes a beginner after 1000 days of training, one becomes a master after 10,000 days of practice. There is no getting around it. To properly learn Kyokushin Karate and any other martial art requires repetition of techniques over and over again, day after day month after month, year after year. You have to practice your techniques over and over again to get good at them. Repetition deepens the relationship between the mind and body. It develops muscles, tendons, and strengthens your bones as your body adapts to the motion of the techniques and at the same time, repetition will develop better coordination and concentration. The daily, countless repetition of a certain sequence of techniques, for example, will help you see a punch or a kick coming at you quicker. And it won't make you freeze because you are already used to seeing the punch or kick coming towards you. Therefore, you can react better and faster to the striking techniques and in a sense, you will be able to maintain your presence of mind during training. Repetitions of techniques done daily will help you commit the fundamentals of karate to memory. You will learn how to achieve proper body alignment, will be able to learn how to execute a technique correctly, Learn how to breathe correctly during the execution of the technique and most importantly, learn how to focus during the execution of techniques, katas, and the daily sparring in the dojo. Every time you do repetitive practice, you are wiring your nervous system, creating brain, muscle connections, and patterns in your practice. The signals will travel better, faster, and more precise through the pathways of the body and you will be able to execute techniques sharper with more power, accuracy, and speed. These signals are able to travel faster and more efficient through the pathways of your body with the help of an insulation substance called myelin. Myelin is a lipid-rich substance that surrounds nerve cells called axons to insulate them and increase the rate at which electrical impulses are passed along the axon. Myelin is formed in the central nervous system, the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerve, and in the peripheral nervous system, the PNS. In the central nervous system, the axons carry electrical signals from one nerve to another. And in the peripheral nervous system, the axons carry the signals to muscles and glands or from sensory organs such as the skin. This insulating role for myelin is essential for the daily normal motor function movements like walking. The sensory functions like hearing, seeing, and feeling the sensation of pain, and cognition like acquiring and recalling of knowledge. Therefore, the more repetition, the more myelin substance. The faster the signals will travel and through repetition, these signals will be able to travel up to 100 times faster 
making the neural pathways for specific skills for martial artists superhighways, like the German Autobahnen, which is widely known for having no federally mandated speed limit for some classes of vehicles. Myelin substance plays a big role in creating these superhighways for the electrical signals to travel through faster. The faster travel of the signals will help you as a martial artist in developing sharper, better techniques and faster reaction time. One must be aware of repetition of techniques that are not quality repetitions though. If you repeat the technique the wrong way, you are creating the wrong circuitry and once your nervous system gets used to this, it will be more difficult to undo and relearn bad habits. It will take you a lot more effort to undo the bad techniques and correct them. Therefore, when you learn a technique through repetition of execution, be aware that you perform each repetition correctly every time and at the same time be aware of form, power and speed of the techniques. If every technique you do is better than the one before, you are on the way to perfecting your craft and to achieve your full potential. The purpose for repetition of technique in karate is so that you train your mind and body to work in conjunction with each other in a specific way without having to think about it. For example, you do not think of walking, yet in a lifetime you will probably take more than a hundred million steps. Walking is a complex movement involving your whole body and you are able to naturally coordinate this movement with daily repetition of putting one foot in front of the other one. Your body does this function automatically. In the same way, you want your body movement in karate to be like walking automatically and not having to have to take the time to think about each movement. This is done with the help of daily repetition of techniques. No matter if you are practicing a strike, a kick, a throw, or a sequence and form in karate, each movement is practiced over and over again until your body learns to perform each technique without thinking about it. You will be able to create muscle memory where all the moves will be imprinted on the brain and perfect the speed of the movements where the movement will become not only automatic but with adequate speed. Another benefit of doing repetition of techniques correctly is power, where through repetition the muscles will become stronger giving you more power. Well executed repetitions of techniques will also give you good form. The muscles will learn to move in the right position at correct angles with adequate speed. As a beginner student, you will repeat fundamental techniques over and over again. As an advanced black belt, you will learn the more complicated moves the same way by repeating them over and over again. In other words, repetition may be the single most important exercise and factor in achieving and maintaining your martial arts skills. Repetitive practice can make the difference between a top athlete and the rest. Everybody, no matter gender and age, can achieve the status of a top athlete in their age group with good repetition of techniques and years of practice. For many years, martial arts have been passed down through the repetition of executing techniques thousands and thousands of times. Repetition is one of the main factors of becoming proficient in your martial arts skills. By repeating techniques properly over and over again and making sure each repetition is better than the one before, you will be on your way to perfecting your craft and will be one step closer to achieving your full potential in karate and any other function you perform in life. Us. Thank you for watching, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys on the next video. Arigato. Us.